We're in the final stretch of the holiday season. Today, I've joined Kin Community's second annual cookie collaboration, and for my part, I'm gonna be making an alfajores with dulce de leche. It's basically a shortbread sandwich cookie that I'll roll in toasted coconut pieces. Be sure to check out the other channels and recipes on this playlist. There's one cookie recipe a day leading up until Christmas. Yum! So let's get started. To start, I'm gonna work on my dough. In a bowl, I'll add one cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and then I'll just mix it well and set it aside. Now for the wet ingredients. In my mixer's bowl, I'll combine one stick of butter at room temperature, half a cup of powdered sugar, and I'll just mix it on medium speed until it's light and fluffy, about three minutes. I'll scrape the bowl down and then I'll add in two egg yolks and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then I'll mix it again. Now I'll incorporate my dry ingredients and just continue beating it on low speed until the dough comes into a ball. And that's it for the dough! I'll pour it out onto a sheet of plastic wrap, flatten it down into a disc, and then I'll place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes for it to firm up. Once the dough is firm, I'll preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I'll lightly flour my working surface, and then I'll place the dough on top, and then roll it out. I'll roll it out to about a quarter inch thick, and then I'll cut it into circles using my cookie cutter. I'm using a cookie cutter that's about one and a half inches in diameter since I don't want the cookies too big, but you really could use anything that you want. Candy canes, gingerbread, it's the holidays! With the leftover dough, I'll just re-roll it out and cut it again until it's all gone. No waste! I'll carefully put the dough circles onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, then I'll bake it for 12 to 14 minutes or until they're golden brown. In the meantime, be sure to follow my Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering and my Snapchat at Honeysuckle Bee to follow my cooking adventures. Once the cookies are done, I'll take it out and let them cool completely. Now onto the Dolce de Leche filling. I have a can of Dolce de Leche that I'll empty out into a small bowl. A trick to make this extra yummy is to add some orange zest. This will add in another dimensional flavor that's totally unexpected. I'll take some of my toasted coconut chips and I'll chop it up very finely and put it into another bowl. Finally, we can put it all together. Once the cookies are completely cooled, I'll just take a dollop of the dulce de leche on one cookie, then sandwich it together with another cookie. I'll squeeze the dulce de leche out just a little bit, then roll the cookie into my toasted coconut chips. And voila! A dulce de leche alfajor. These cookies are like a shortbread, tender yet crumbly, but oh so delicious. The extra touch of the orange zest really comes through, and I love that crunch from the coconut chips. Happy holidays, and I hope you enjoyed this cookie collaboration. Be sure to check out the other channels like Weelicious and One Hungry Mama. Also, check out Kin's homepage for the full playlist of cookie collaboration. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!